Gizzo, you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, grown man business. And listen, you can tap in and you can tap out, but you know my slogan. You know what I suggest? And I suggest you tap in, so let's get right into it. And Meek Mill, you are the topic of discussion, my G. Meek Mills, you are the topic of discussion, my G. So let's get right into it. Now, we all see what's going on with Young Thug, Gunner, the whole YSL camp. You feel what I'm saying? And the RICO indictments that they got out on the whole clique. We all see what's going on. And recently, you know, Meek Mill, he, he, he took to his social media to tell everybody, everybody to, to pray, to pray for Young Thug, to sign a petition to free the whole YSL. You feel me? He, he also said that, you know, taking a successful man out of his home and away from his family and putting him in jail is inhumane. He said it's inhumane. Now, again, it gets deep, it gets wicked, and it's always deep in the rap when you're scratching the surface. And you better believe here at Grown Man Business TV, we scratching the surface. And I was thinking to myself, like, well, if he's poor, is that not inhumane because he was poor and now in jail? Nah, it, you know, I don't know what an inhumane word is coming in and being thrown around so loosely nowadays. So loosely. You know, uh, I do, I feel like Meek Mill could be speaking on so much more. You understand with the whole prison reform and the Nelson Mandela Award and all these things when it comes to Meek. He could be advocating for so much more. He could be putting his energy into so much more. You understand? But for some reason, when these guys get to a certain level, you know, they're focusing on freeing your idols, freeing your idols, freeing Young Thug and Gunna and YSL. And, you know, regardless if there's right or wrong, regardless if they're innocent or guilty, we just supposed to free these guys. And I mean, it's it's deep, it's wicked, and it's always deeper than rap when you scratching the surface. You already know here at Grown Man Business TV, we definitely scratching the surface. And it is what it is, and it'll be what it's going to be at all times. At all times. So let's get into a few of these angles, because you already know I got a, I got a few angles. So you already know how we do here at Grown Man Business TV. We coming from multiple, multiple, multiple different angles, my G. We coming from multiple, multiple, multiple different angles, my G. And that leads me and segues me into my first angle, my G. My first angle. Yeah, the first angle. And that is idol worshiping. Yeah, let's get into it. Idol worshiping. Now, when it comes to these celebrities, these athletes, you know, um, they get put on such a high pedestal that everybody that seems to be beneath them are idol worshiping. All of these fans, all of these people just worshiping these false idols. You understand? Now, let's add that to Young Thug. Let's add that to YSL. You got Young Thug. You got Gunner. You got YSL. Now, you got fans out there that are highly invested into their music, that love their music. And when these guys are free and you see them as a fan and you run up and you want to take a picture, you know, they, they'll demean you. They, they, they belittle you. They make you feel like less of a person for even just taking a picture, right? But as soon as they go to jail, as soon as they get locked up, Oh, they get to crying about hollering and, and, and they get to talking about signing petitions. Please free us. It's inhumane. And my point is, you know, you can't worship these false idols, man. These these puppets are put on a pedestal for you to for you to pay attention to, for you to worship. You understand? For you to feel like they're higher than you. And then when it all comes crashing down. The same person that wouldn't give you an autograph or wouldn't give you the time of day or wouldn't even give you a picture, right? They beg for your mercy. Please sign a petition. Please. That's just one side of it. The, 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 the idol worshiping. You guys got to stop worshiping these false idols. And then secondly, you know, when did gangsters call jail inhumane? So you got these rappers, they they talking about gangsterism, they talking about all this stuff that takes place in the streets. And then when the when the people come and they put the chokehold on you, throw you behind bars for the things that you're saying and you're doing, 
Now you're crying and we're signing petitions for gangsters. That's why I say false idols. These guys are pretenders. They are actors. They are acting the part. They are nothing like what they rap to you guys. You know, inhumane conditions. Man, that's, that's solitary confinement. That's been going on for hundreds of years. Are you telling me you can't handle the heat? Let me let, let me go a little bit deeper. When I was when I was growing up, Caucasian people were scared of black people. They would clutch their purses. They would cross the street if they seen us coming. They would get out of the elevator. But times have changed because what they thought was gangster, what they thought was savage, is really these weak fake rappers that cry when it's time to lay it down. That cry when it's time to go into solitary confinement. These 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 weak simp men like YSL, Thugger Thugger, Gunna, false idols, man. Stop worshiping false idols, man. You understand? I'm not going to make this a long one, but but I had to touch in. These guys portray a certain image to y'all on wax and on film, and in real life, they family men. In real life. They, 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 they send their kids to camp in the summertime like Jim Jones did. In real life, they cry if they're separated from their wife or their family. But on wax and on film, they make you think that they don't have a wife. They make you think that they they so gangster. Man, false idols, man. It is what it is, and it'll be what it's going to be. So you already know how we do here at Grown Man Business TV. We coming from multiple, multiple, multiple different angles, my G. We coming from multiple, multiple, multiple different angles, my G. And that leads me and segues me into my second angle. My second angle, my G. My second angle. And that's what Meek Mill said about the DA in Fulton County. Meek Mill said, in quote, protecting the community is cool, but taking these guys away from their family and putting them directly in jail is inhumane, end of quote. Wow. Wow. So, you know, we got Meek Mill saying free YSL, free gunner, free thugger. And the whole time, we don't know if they're innocent or guilty. We don't know if they did it or didn't. But I will say this. The FBI, the, the, the feds, the state have federal wiretaps of young thug sending hits. Of young thugs saying stuff like, y'all ain't got them boys yet. Y'all getting weak. You know, like wreaking havoc on the community. They have wiretap, Meek Mill. They have evidence. So I don't know why we just freeing these guys. Why are we petitioning to just free these guys? If they were doing the things that the state and the feds are saying they were doing, then they have to lay it down for a little while. They have to lay it down. When did gangsters stop wanting to lay it down? When I was coming up, gangsters... They, they didn't care if the cops was around. They was going to get it popping regardless because they knew laying it down came with the territory. You didn't get to play the gangster. You didn't get to play the general. You didn't get to play the kingpin. You didn't get to play none of these roles without knowing in the back of your head that you was going to have to lay it down. And just like Meek Mill, you know, when he went to jail, he didn't just lay it down. He cried, man. He kicked. He screamed to get out, please. NBA young boy. Please, I don't care. Send me to Milwaukee. Just send me here. I'll send me anywhere. Thugger, Gunner, they are using the inhumane. These are gangsters. Listen to Thugger's raps. Listen to the wire taps. He, these are gangsters. Gangsters. It's, 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 it's a bad look because, if anything, the gangsters is supposed to stand on cold. If it's time to lay it down, then lay it down. Get the best lawyers and lay it down. But you're going to understand and you youngsters is going to take heed. It's not, it's everything that glitters isn't gold. Everything that you're seeing is not real. Look at the, come on, my G. Come on, my G. If you can slap this person and you can slap that person and you can slap, then trust me, you can lay it down, my G. You can lay it down and do your thing and do your time. And you can do it with some honor, my G. But all that crying, all that sapping, simping, you know what I'm saying? Uh, whining, 
You know what I'm saying? Kicking and screaming, trying to get out, trying to get back on the streets. But when you was on the streets, you was taking advantage of it. You was you was slatting. You was calling plays. Now you crying. So we don't respect it, man. We 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 we, we don't respect it. And we see it for what it is. And for Meek Mill to have something to say about it is just it's 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 a red flag and it's very telling. The writing is on the wall. So you already know how we do here at Grow Man Business TV. We coming from multiple, multiple, multiple different angles, my G. We coming from multiple, multiple, multiple different angles, my G. And that leads me and segues me into my third angle. My third angle, my G. And that's just the things that these artists choose to speak on. Now, Meek Mill, you know, we got prison reform, right? We got, you know, Nelson Mandela Awards, right? But Meek Mill still raps about drugs and guns and sliding and slipping. That was a red flag for me. And then it's like all of these situations taking place in America, in the black community, especially, right? Where these artists, these false idols could speak on. They could literally have a say-so on these mass shootings. They could have a say-so on these gun politics. They could have a say-so on all the violence taking place in the ghetto, in the hood. They have nothing to say about that. They don't step out and speak and have petitions when it comes to the shooter in Buffalo. But when it comes to trying to keep rappers from being prosecuted for their lyrics, which their lyrics contain evidence of murder, of treachery. Yes, yes. Their lyrics contain everything that's needed to solve murder cases. So these high, the, these guys up on the totem pole will come down to try to protect murder, but won't come down and try to protect the community. Yeah. Everybody that's involved that's got an ear open to this, you know, look at your favorite artists and look at them sideways. See what they're doing. See what they're saying. I got another video coming out that I'm about to drop that's going to get in more in depth on this. Because it seems like when they get to a certain level, they're not here to help us anymore. They're here to um, assist us in destructing in destruction of our own community. They're here to assist the destruction of our own community. Meek Mill could have spoke on anything. He could have came down from his little high horse and spoke on anything. Yo, what's going on here? Yo, we not feeling that. But instead, he's advocating to keep the violence going. These puppets, man, they're becoming, they're more and more exposed every day. Every day they're coming out. They can't hide it anymore. I'm not going to make this a long one, but, you know, again, your favorite artist. Right now, we're talking about Meek Mills. Could have spoke on anything. He could have had something to say about anything pertaining to helping the community. But instead, he's talking about freeing YSL and Young Thugger and making petitioning black art. It's deep. It's wicked. And it's always deeper than rap when you're scratching the surface. And you better believe here at Grown Man Business TV, we definitely scratching the surface. And it is what it is. And it'll be what it's going to be at all times. So you already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Grown Man Business. And listen, you can tap in and you can tap out. But you know my slogan. You know what I suggest. And I suggest you tap in. I suggest you tap into this Grown Man Business. I suggest you tap into this Grown Man content at all times. You already know what it is. Straight off the brick into the barrel straight off the brick into the bottle straight raw pure uncut no extras no preservatives we not sugar cold nothing and we not dressing nothing up meek mills giving it to you straight raw my g meeky mills giving it to you straight raw my boy it is what it is you go from you know you know uh the top rapper to 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 going to jail to crying to get out to bunny hopping for some billionaires Bunny hop and meek. It is what it is and it, it, it'll be what it's going to be. So you already know how we do here at Grown Man Business TV. We coming from, you know what I'm saying? We, you tap in and you can tap out. But you know my slogan. You know what I suggest. And I suggest you tap in. Dang.